sense, isn't it? You like that? Bit of Bach. I'll be Bach. No, I won't. I'll be me. <laughs> I'm always on the lookout. Now, you know that piece of music. You do know that piece of music. <clears throat> it was in... It's inspired Prokel Haran to write A Whiter Shade of Pale. Um, and as you know, I'm always on the lookout for music-inspired beers. <clears throat> and I found another one. I mean, we've got, well, we've got, you know, Trooper, Iron Maiden, of course, and um, Robinson's, uh, not Robinson's, which would have done, uh, oh, Dog of Two Heads. No, no, they did Pile Driver from Quo, and Hobson's have done Dog of Two Heads from Quo. It's all sorts, anyway. So I found one that I thought was quite nice from the Y Valley View Brewery. So it's, um, it's local-ish. I've got Annie Lennox singing now. Blimey. Leave her on for a bit. This is called Fandango. As in, skip the line, Fandango. <laughs> it's a pale ale at um, 4.5%, so nice and easy. <clears throat> and it, um, it says on the back that Brogel Haran sang their skipped the light fandango. Well, they couldn't have been referring to this hoppy hoot and annie. See, the Chul Holland in there as well. Blimey. <clears throat> as, uh, as no lover of crap here would skip to the chance to save a fandango's light crust, sis, it's crusty. Crusty? No, it's not going to be crusty. That's crusty up there. No, no don't go there. <laughs> um, <clears throat> citrusy. Thank you very much. I've got a halo, you see, yeah. Um, crowd pleasing flavour. So, uh, shall we see? I'm going to turn that off now. Bit of Procol. I'll use the, the Crafty Beer Guy glass, who should be in Ludlow on Sunday. Mm -hmm. Monmouth tomorrow. No, tomorrow, Saturday. But check his website on uh, on Facebook, Crafty Gear, Crafty Gear Guy. Mm. Crafty beer guy, and uh, have a look. That smells very citrusy. That does. That does smell quite, um, quite pleasing. So let's see how we get on here. Then I can smell it from here. Actually, it's, it, it looks very, very golden. It's a pale, so carbonating well. Nice white head. And in the glass, in one, 180. So, look at that, that's looking good. Nice white head. Very pleasing citrusy aroma. Very fresh. And uh, looking good. Where are we going? We're going there. Looking really nice, that is. So, Gary Brooker, good man. Wrote some weird lyrics to that tune, <clears throat> but there you go. Life's all about being weird. Keep that spark of weirdness in you and the craziness, whatever you do. If you if you're a serious accountant, don't worry about it. You've all got a little bit of weird in you, no matter who you are. Let's give it a go. That's quite a that's quite a mixture. First taste is slightly bitter, but then as it goes down you get the sweetness of the citrus. Ooh yeah. Hmm. It's very tasty. Ah. I'd skip the light fandango to that. Yeah, that's very nice that is. Very, very nice indeed. Um, but now it's coming up to autumn, of course. Uh, well, it is autumn, isn't it, basically? I mean, it's 17 degrees out there today. It's roasting. <clears throat> um, and with uh, November and winter ale, winter coming in, we're starting to get some of the darker ales coming through. So I know um, Tim's got a few saved for me, which I shall pick up at some point, and then do videos for those. Those are darker ales, they are. Porters and stouts and the like, and, and milds, so... Right up my street. Oh, pardon me. Shouldn't have done that on camera. So, Y Valley.
Fandango, Wye Valley Brewery, 4.5%. Um, Happy Hootenanny, they say, which is New Year's Eve, really, isn't it, for Scotland? They're getting mixed up there, I think. And um, Proco Harem, music inspired beer, all good for this beer music lover. <laughs> Keep going, folks. Keep that spark of weirdness. Drink responsibly, and we'll see you all very finger of doom soon. <laughs>